Good evening, everybody. Hopefully everyone can hear me okay, and you can hear the game okay. You should be hearing the bippy bippies of the uh, of the user interface there. Welcome to the stream, folks. I gather you've all been having fun watching some ambassadors um, doing amazing things earlier on. I've not been able to catch up with that, but uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, you've got me for a little while now, so uh, yeah, that should be fun. Uh, we have got uh, a few things for you. Oh, I've got a few things for you tonight. Um, so I thought I would... Um, I'm not used to type walk, talking to a microphone on my own streams. I've switched to a little la uh, la uh, lavalier mic and, uh, yeah, no, I've got to get used to this again now. <laughs> um, so I've got a few things for you tonight. Um, I have got, uh, I thought I'd start off with a quick look at the formation designer. Uh, for those of you that uh, have a little, maybe we can talk about if you've got any questions uh, um, and we can uh, look at that and I can show you some of the things that... Uh, which you know, point to where things are going to be coming. This is the same build you've got, so I've got nothing. I've got nothing new to sneak, sneaky sneak and leak. I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, we'll be putting that. I'll be going through formation designer a little bit. We won't spend too long on that. Then I'm going to have a look at London Brighton uh, with the class 387. Who doesn't like a bit of 387 on the London Brighton? And then we're going to head over to Linker Einstrecker. And Linker Einstrecker is on sale, 90% off. And we're going to run the ICE one from Castle Würzburg uh, on Linker Einstrecker. Uh, and then lastly, we'll finish up with Caltrain free. Go get it now. Um, on uh, And then we're going to run the MP36 also at heavy discount. So lots of stuff going on <clears throat> and um, lots of stuff to look at. And uh, yeah, we'll see how the evening goes. I'll try not to bore you too much. Um, but yeah, that's uh, fine. Right, moving on. Right, Creators Club and uh, Formation Designer. Now, before we go into Formation Designer, I need to do a little bit of preparation. I don't know what's installed on this machine. So I think I'm just going to take um, a thing. Uh, let me think. I'm just going to look down this list and see what... See what it looks like I could do something suitably crazy with or make everyone hate me. Um, <clears throat> what needs to be pink? <laughs> right. Um, the East Coastway Class 66. Right, let's uh, go with... Uh, that one. Right. The barge is part of Bremen, uh, oh, uh, Bremen, um, Oldenburg, is it? Am I thinking that right? Well, my brain's not working. Um, and you can, and it changes, it randomly chooses colours uh, for um, the um, um, uh, the barge that runs along the river um, through the uh, lift-up bridge. Right. Okay. Let us let us paint. Uh, I'm going to spend a while thinking about what colour I want to paint it. There we go. We've we've thought about it. We've applied it. It's all good. Uh, and I'm just going to just you know, nothing too long. We're not here about to talk about livery designer, but I just want to put something on here. Um, and uh, there you go. Let's put one sign on one side. And that. Uh, and then I want to use no. That one. So put that one on that side. Uh, confirm, and then we will uh, copy that, and we will edit it, and we will change. Oh, no. I want to. New scale shear. No, not those things. Decal options. There we go. Change side. Put it on the other side. Firm, and I'll edit that and I do want to change the decal to that one. Cool. Right, okay. That's just random train livery. Um, so we've got... Yes, and we've got... Yes, excellent. This is very stylish. Definitely a candidate for... Um, Nothing at all. Right, okay. Now, let's move on. So we've made a formation. Let's go into formation designer. Right, so <clears throat> it's kind of familiar. Uh, you've seen this, this kind of menu before. I'm going to click add new, and I'm going to call this one uh, Matt's Crazy Train, and you can all come and join me. Right, so go to formation designer, click add official. Now, in here, I want to search for the class 66. Right, now... Before we go too much further, let's also let's let's be really free and open. The yeah, music is a bit loud. Let me just let me just sort music out, shall we? Yes. 
I was wondering that myself. I was sitting there thinking, am I shouting over the music? I could just make the music go quieter, really, can't I? In fact, let's just turn the music off for the time being. As much as I adore the music, it's not what we're here for right now. So edit formation. Don't worry about this stuff. We'll come to this stuff in a minute. It's very cool. Uh, right, formation builder. So we're going to add. Right, now this list is mega cluttered. And this is one of the things that we're going to be enhancing. You'll notice you've got lots of 406s, the ICE. Um, and these are all the different individual cars, and the naming of them isn't great. And there's not really an easy way to add the entire formation at the moment. Um, that will be changing. Um, so if I look at ICE, yeah, you've got nothing in there. So that stuff is going to be improving. And you can also already see, if you go to the 323, that um, you can add the um, the 323 as a formation. So formations are coming, but it needs a little bit of um, uh, finessing to get formations working across the board. So um, that one's coming for the time being. Uh, there's not going to be much we can do about removing all the individual elements, but hey, you know what? Have fun with them. The only thing I would say is... Remember that different in real in reality and in the sim, the different vehicles have different characteristics. Some might provide a compressor, some might provide power, some might provide power, power, power pickup. Um, and if you take a formation, say a four six five was the example James Lewis was uh, uh, was outlining to me. If you take a formation uh, like that and um, and you crunch it down and you make a fake four six six, which is a two car. It looks quite good, actually. You can put the two end cars of a 465 together. The problem is, in a 465, one of the middle cars is your compressor. So without the two middle cars, you've actually got nothing pumping the air brakes up. So what you'll find is every time you apply the air brakes, your main reservoir will go down a little bit, and it won't go back up. And eventually, you won't be able to release the brakes um, or apply them or something. Um, so <clears throat> the um, yeah, you've got to, you've got to um, really... Um, mix and match things correctly. Uh, JP says, uh, as I found out yesterday, HST and 101 don't mix. No, one of them's vacuum brake, one of them's air brake, JP. Um, so no, that wouldn't, I, I wouldn't expect that to work. Right, so if I go to um, 66 and I want... See, this is part of the other problem. Um, which one of these is the one from <laughs> East Coastway? We're going to update this so that the root name it comes from is put down below it. Um, so I'm going to go in here. Uh, personal livery, boom, off we go. Right, our formation is already underway in the strongest way possible. Um, someone said, uh, is, when is formation, or why is formation designer uh, beta PC only? It is not ready for the wider audience yet. Um, so we wanted to get it out to an audience. Uh, and the easiest audience and the one that we can iterate changes on fastest if we need to is the PC audience. Is out on, on, out on a PC platform. So we're, out, we're doing it on PC first. Um, and we'll be um, then expanding it to the consoles in a little bit once we're happy that it's in the right place. Um, <clears throat> uh, right, uh, what does Add Custom do? I'll come to that, actually. That's a good shout. We should think we should talk about that as well. Let me just save this formation and come out, and then I'll show you. Uh, we'll make another formation, and then I can show you how to use Add Custom formation at the same time. Um, so we're going to make a formation. Who's guessed what's in this formation? Right, uh, we're going to add, and we're going to add um, the, uh, bar. let's add the TTC ones, these will do. Training center, there we go, there's, a, there's one of them. And then what you can do, if you want another one of the same thing, you can just click copy, and click that, click copy, and then you've added three of the same thing. There we go, so we've got three BGs inside our Saturday Night Live formation. It doesn't get better than this, folks. So leave now. Escape. Run for your lives. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we're going to go back to Matt's crazy train. Um, and formation builder. And we're going to add custom this time. And you'll notice that nothing's showing up because... Oh, bugs, apparently. Okay, so what should have happened there is I went to add custom and it should have listed that formation that I just made. And so the idea is the formations that you make will um, uh, can be reused um, in, in other ways. Um, and you can, so you can make a five wagon formation and then use a bunch of them. And you can do that iteratively. So you could take, make a five wagon formation, put five of those in another formation, and then use that formation 
in other places. So it makes it really easy to build up small things out of, and, and make big things out of small things. Particularly for you US enthusiasts, you don't have to add 100 wagons one by one. Make up some little bits and then add the bits together and you'll find it a lot easier. Making a bunch of little 15 or 10 car things and then just add the 10 cars in different ways. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I don't know why that doesn't work. That used to work. Maybe it's something peculiar with the, the, the stock I've chosen. So... Um, <clears throat> That BG should have been mixed brakes. Should have had both couplings. Okay, yeah, I don't know why that doesn't work. I have to uh, go and have a look at that. Uh, right, okay. So what we'll do instead is we'll add them. Uh, let's see if I can add them in this way as well. Ah, uh, you see the training center one isn't showing up. So for some reason, um, the training center one has got incompatible couplings with this class 66. That's interesting. All right, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Let's just move our back and we'll change it to use different BGs. What we need is to change our BGs for the other BGs. Uh, everyone, you know, didn't know that there were more than one BGs. So, um, so uh, that's fine. We're, we're all learning something today. Uh, right. Okay. So add official uh, and we'll go BG. And so you can see there's a bunch more on here. Um, that'll do. And we'll copy and we'll copy. Uh, we've got our three BGs. Remember, you can spin around it. You can look around it. If you think this looks familiar, yes, it is basically using the same stuff as livery designer because it works well. Why change it? So if I come out of there. Uh, and then I go back into Matt's crazy train. Or Matt. And then we add custom. Nope, still not doing it. Dang it. It was this one I picked, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. All right, fine. Well, whatever. Let's just do it this way. So add official, and now I can just add, uh, and I can add. So basically, you can add custom liveries of trains. You can add normal liveries of trains. You can put things on. You can you can kind of just make up a formation which looks looks interesting to you. When you click on a formation, you've got copy to duplicate it. This will allow you to replace it. So let's say I had a moment of insanity and didn't want a pink train at the front of my, uh, my train. I could change it, for example, to uh, the West Somerset 47. There you go. We've changed it to a 47. Um, and we've got these. I'm going to change this one actually as well. And I'm going to change that one to a different BG. And we'll make that this one instead. There we go. Right. So we can we can uh, move things around a little bit and, and customize the formation the way we want. Um, what other options? Delete. So the this one is the button that will allow you to reorder, but that's not working at the moment. That's coming. Um, so at the moment, the order they're in is kind of the order they're in, I'm afraid. Um, and you'll have to work around that. But that is coming to allow you to reorder things. Then you've got delete. And then under options, you've got flip. Uh, and this is where some, you've got duplicates of some of the options in here as well. It's just a UI thing. Uh, and then you've also got over here, you can click on it and you've got some of the same options and also got a tick box here. So you can you can you can see this door is actually flipping um, in case it's not. You know, it's probably not the best example of, of flipping, but um, it's for inverting the uh, in inverting the vehicle. Um, let me see if I can add something which is. Uh, Will it let me add that? It's vaguely possible I've just really upset it by trying to add something stupid. Um, in fact, it didn't even let me do it. Excellent. Right, let me find something down here. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Nope, not that. Uh, the HST coaches. Uh, oh, well, let me add that. There we go. Right, nonsense. Okay, so I'm not going to leave this here because, yeah, nonsense. Um, uh, first of all, wow, American trains are big. Uh, but secondly, um, you can click on each of these, by the way, to also jump the, con the viewer to where you want to be. Uh, as well, because this only will only move a certain distance. So you click on that and you can look at it. But now if I use the flip option, uh, you can see more clearly what that's doing. Okay. If you've got a wagon, which is um, 
Yeah, I'm going to replace that with something a little bit less dumb, uh, just to uh, satisfy my sanity. Uh, let's change it for that one. Yeah, Christmas lights in the middle. Um, what have we got here? Back to the front. There? Right, okay. So we've got our formation. We're all good. Um, try, I'm just having a quick look at the uh, the feedback, actually, and see if I've missed anything. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Right. So, um, shout if if I've um, if I if I miss any questions. Um, right. So, what are the things that are missing in here at the moment? Uh, well, the uh, the move up and down thing. One of the things, the key things that you're missing actually is when you click on this and you click options. There is supposed to be an option here, or there will be an option here that allows you to set the cargo load, uh, and it'll be a left and right toggle, and you can cycle through all the possible cargo loads. Um, so, you know, as an example, if you were to add one of the the peak um uh lms5 plank um like where is it i'm blind there it is down here lms5 plank so if you were to add the lms5 plank which has gone up there there is logic to bear it's placing it i promise you um go then you know that comes unloaded um so if you wanted to um to load that then the idea is in options here you'd cycle through and all the different possible loads would appear there so that's one of the things that is coming um but we need to rethink the cargo load system for that to work because what's in there at the moment doesn't really work and the user interface for using the existing system was terrible um so well koi gaming like i said it's not there right now it's one of the things that's that's got yet, uh, yet to be worked on along with uh we, got, we, don't, we know how we're going to solve it just needs to be done um so i think i pretty much covered uh a lot of the basic functionality uh hopefully that all makes sense let's have a look at stats so in here you can see how many locomotives how many vehicles in total What's the total weight of the train and what's your total power of the train? So for those of you particularly making American consists, um, this will help you understand if you've got enough. Then there is an approximate calculation going on here, and I'm going to raise an issue that's triggering me about those not lining up. Oh, my word. Um, the, um, and this is doing a fairly simplistic calculation. It's not too far out, you know, um, or it will be when it's fixed. What you've got in this build isn't quite right, but the next uh, the next um, version, the one that I've been playing with, um, actually is, is a lot closer. But the idea is that this should test to see whether or not your total weight and power, based on an achievable speed of about 10 miles per hour, uh, roughly, um, whether it, how it is going up these gradients. So if you have a whole lot of wagons and not a lot of power on the front, you might see, for example, it's okay on the flat or near... 0.5 or one it's yellow on 1.5 and fail red are you red on two and a half on two percent two and a half percent um and you'll see that and this updates dynamically if i add another wagon now all this stuff updates as it goes through but the calculation at the moment has an error in it which means that a 4400 horsepower loco is calculated as if it was about 19,000 horsepower so it's difficult to make that do anything but green um, like I said, there's a fix for that uh, coming soon as well. A um, bit of a maths error there. So, um, but that's what this will do. And it's a really useful tip if you're trying to go right on the limit of the gradients to where, you know, it's a struggle up the steeper gradients and rather than flying up the gradients, or at least to make sure that it can go up all the gradients you want and whether you need to chuck a couple of extra... Um, uh, couple of extra white locos on the front or something like that so it's really useful it's uh, it's it's very very cool uh it keeps close to uh, to hide that um you can change the background if you like the same as in livery designer um and i'm just gonna come out up here i think this is settings so this settings allows you to flip the entire formation uh, or I can change the name here. I don't think change name works at the moment. That's one of the things noted on the document. Everyone's in the, the document that I wrote. I think it's meant gone in as a forum post, I think, showing um, some of the, uh, the the caveats and things. So hopefully I've covered off explaining some of that stuff and how that all works. What I am going to do now is just go to... Or actually, what I should do, because one of the whole points of this was I wanted to show livery usage. So let's let's just go back in here and change this back to the actual crazy train. Um, personal pinky in the brain. Right. 
because <clears throat> one of the things clearly that this is a really useful tool for is taking all those custom wagon formations and so forth that you built and, and, and bringing those into, uh, into, the, uh, into the game in places. So press escape, come out, let's head over and uh, I'll show you where you can use your formations. So first of all, to the trains, choose a route. Um, let's go for Birmingham and we'll go free roam. And I don't really care about any of that stuff. Let's go. <clears throat> Oddly, we can't see because your screen is there. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> You'll see when you look at it. And then you go, ah. Right, okay. So I want to spawn a train here. Boom. Uh, spawn a train. And it is the Class 66 EWS Custom Formations. That's Crazy Train. Click Spawn. Uh, works the way it normally does. Press X. And look at that. So you can make a formation, pop it into existence, and drive it and do what you like with it. So uh, that's that way of using your custom formations. What else have we got? We've got Scenario Planner. Oh, you're the queen, Elfie. Boom, exactly. Right, so if we go to Creators Club in Scenario Planner, um, and let's this time go with Antelope Valley because that's an obvious place you'd see a class 66. Uh, Matt's crazy scenario. He says, digging right deep for the uh, for the creativity here tonight. Uh, and Matt's uh, crazy, guess what? Service. Yes, you got it, folks. Confirm. Add a new path. Uh, we're going to be... Starting in Birmingham, I think I want to start. No, why do I mean Birmingham? We're on Antelope Valley. Birmingham's a long way away. Uh, we'll start at LA Union. And we will head to Lancaster. We're not going to drive this tonight. Confirm. Confirm. We set the train. We want to find Class 66. Uh, personal. Matt's crazy train. Save and exit. Save and exit. Matt's crazy scenario. Press play. The three-hour formation designer PowerPoint. Well, I'm doing this instead of the three-hour formation designer PowerPoint. I was thought I'd just try and do something really quick, but you know we're 16 hours into the stream now, so. <clears throat> right, and there you go, folks. Scenario planner using your custom formations as well. Uh, so you've got your custom liveries and your custom formations and your custom scenarios. Um, you know, the custom has no limits. Uh, on that so uh, have fun you know it's 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 not a perfect feature yet we've got a bunch of stuff coming that will make it um awesome awesomer um but there's tons you can do with it uh and you can have some you can mix and match some really crazy things um that may or may not work um so um yeah just bear that in mind that uh, the, the formation designer will let you create things that are stupid but enjoy that stupid because sometimes that's really fun uh, but if it doesn't work because it probably wouldn't work, then that's why. The only thing the formation designer really stops you doing is mixing up wrong couplers. So you won't let you put um, a, um, uh, a buckeye with a hook or something like that. Those options won't even show up. Um, sometimes wagons have different types of couplings at each end. So if you look at um, something like a layers wagon, um, which has a, a hook at one end and a bar at the other end because layers wagons are paired. Um, or well, you look at the J and A wagons in the UK. Um, the J wag J and A wagon is um, you have an outer and an inner. Let me just jump in and show you that because it's really easy to. That's really easy to demo. Um, that's crazy. J and A. So formation builder add, and we add J and A outer. So if we add J and E outer, right, you'll see you've got a hook on one side uh, and on the other side you have a um, um, a buckeye, right? In that instance, what it should do, I've not tested this because it didn't used to work, but I'm told it's fixed now. So let's, let's, ex let's find out live on stream. If I uh, now add an inner, you'll see that's coupled together, buckeye to buckeye uh, in there. So let's add another, uh, well, just add another by just copying. Boom. 
Excellent. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll add another outer. And what it should do, what it should do is detect that it needed to flip it. And there you go, look. It's automatically detected that in order for this coupling to make sense, it would need to flip the, uh, the wagon round um, so that it would work. And it will try and work out what combinations will work. I mean, it sounds really grand, but it's literally just flipping it if it doesn't work, you know? Um, but let's just assume that's a pretty amazing feature. But it must make making these kinds of things a lot easier. And it means that, so it's just something to bear in mind if things are not showing up, that might, might be a reason why. Now, what I will do, just because I, I kind of want to see whether or not this was um, this is working on different trains, uh, I'm going to add another. Uh, I'm bored of typing Matt's crazy now. Uh, and we're going to add formation builder, add official. Just going to use Matt's crazy again. Uh, pink in the brain. I'm going to add custom. No, still not showing up. Okay, all right. I need to find out why that's not working. <sighs> Never mind. Let's move on. Hopefully, that's given you an all enough to whet the appetite, go and have a play. If you've got any questions, do post on the forums and uh, we will do our best to help you. Um, so the custom thing, can you explain what's supposed to show up? Yeah. So if you make a wagon, so I made the formation there of four, foam off, uh, four, uh, four wagons. So let's say I wanted that to be repeated three times then I can make another formation and add the four car formation three times to it. So what should have showed up there is my four car formation should up. Oh, you have to close the game and open it up again. Thank you, my man. Let's do that. What could go wrong, right? What we could go wrong. Let me just switch it over to, uh, I don't know what this screen is. Let's try this screen. This will be fun. I don't know if you can hear me. Oh, you can hear me now. Excellent. Let me just reset the game and then we'll come back in again. And hopefully this time it'll work. Yes, Koi Gaming. It's about um, different, um, uh, it's different about creating your own groups. Yeah. Right, we're coming back up now. Uh, Antonio Official, I'm not quite sure what the issue is. Um, can you post on the forums or drop a note to our support team and detail more information about what you're, what you're doing, what trains you're doing, what routes you're using, um, and uh, we'll be able to try and help you. Um, right, uh, so if I now go Creators Club, Formation Designer, and we go Matt's Crazy 66, and we uh, edit, yeah, edit the formation, Formation Builder, Add Custom, boom! Now all of my custom formations are here. Thank you, uh, my man. So now I can add Matt's Crazy J and A, add formation. And we've got four wagons boomed in the back there. You'll notice also there are four wagons and you can select these inner ones here um, and, and uh, see that. Now you're actually supposed to be able to flip them as well. There you go, you can. Oh, these ones can't flip because yeah, they're, they're forced by the way, the nature of their couplings. But um, these ones can flip because if they flip, they retain exactly the same couplings. Um, so you can you can manipulate even though you've added a sub formation you can add you can manipulate what's going on inside it you'll be able to set the cargo load individually on a sub formation as well if you want to um, so the fact that you've used a um, a formation step like this doesn't limit you in terms of what you can do with the um, with the formation and again I can add another one of those if I want to and then we can add another one of those so you can see quite quickly how you can whoops hello that's crazy J and A add formation. Okay, it only wanted me to add it once. Um, so, um, yeah, so you can make a longer formation uh, doing that. Can we make a mixed consist? I don't know what you mean, Liam. I've got two different types of vehicles on here. What do you need? Uh, will we be able to post formations to Creators Club? Yes, and you will be able to upload scenarios which use for custom formations as well. What it'll do is it'll package the formations into the scenario and upload it so that when someone downloads it, it's got everything it needs to run. Uh, why when you spawn the VNSF ES44 and the SD40 uh, be making a loud noise? Is it the alarms, maybe switch the alarms on and off, the alerts on, the safety systems on and off or something? <coughs> uh, 
Oh, passenger and freight. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing to stop me adding uh, a Mark II. Probably could plug into the back of this. So let's go to uh, TSO Rail Tour. Boom. There we go. So we can do that. Uh, and then we will duplicate. And uh, we will duplicate. And we will duplicate. And we now have a magnificent, a magnificent formation. Uh, and now I wish I'd typed Matt's crazy because genuinely it deserves it. Um, let me now go back out and let me just prove it spawns. Uh, okay, uh, Creators Club. No, not Creators Club. We'll just go to the trains, choose a route. We will go to Bremen Oldenburg um, because this is another place 66 is actually do turn up in reality in Germany. <clears throat> right, so now I come over here, I spawn a new train, I want a 66, which is that one, custom formations, MC666. And there we go. All the crazy in one train. Lots and lots of fun to be had with uh, with Formation Designer. So, uh, yeah, have fun. Talk to us on the forums and let us know how you go. Uh, I'm guessing the same rules about couplers and brake types apply when mixing passenger and freight. It doesn't matter if it's passenger or freight. It's just all vehicles and they just all need to match. They need to match. I think the only criteria to allow you to add it is the coupler type. Um, but if you've got the wrong types of brakes, like, you know, if you mix an HST and a, a 101, JP, um, then you won't be able to release the brakes on one of them because they're, they're not talking the same language. Similarly, with modern multiple units, you might find they, they, uh, they might be able to couple, but they might not be able to release each other's brakes because they might have different electrical systems. So the thing to remember is that Trainsim World is simulating right down to the electrical um, connector between um, vehicles. So if you look between vehicles um, and between um, multiple units, there's usually electrical connectivity, whether it's in the actual um, the main coupling or whether it's a separate wire that's coupled up. And the pin connectors on those are simulated. So if they're not compatible in real life, then it still won't work. Now, might, that might allow you to release the brakes, but it might not allow you to take power, which means you could drag it dead, for example. This is one of the reasons that the crazy is allowed to happen because sometimes you can make it work and it'll do what you want it to do. Uh, will everything be at a couple of getters? It have to have the same coupler. It has to have a, the, the, a matching coupler golden ticket. We can't break the physics. So the brakes have to be right. The coupler has to be right. The electrics have to be right. But the only thing that physically, I think, stops it from being added in the editor itself um, is the um, uh, is the coupler. The other things, it'll let it spawn, but um, it'll... Um, um, Brain's not working. Um, it'll let it spawn, but you might not be able to release the brakes or you might be able, not be able to command it to, uh, to issue power, for example. So try it. See how you get on um, and, uh, and let us know what you find. So I am going to move on now uh, and we're going to get driving. Uh, I'm going to go London commuter first. I haven't decided what I'm doing London commuter, but I do do a, thought I'd do a bit of Gatwick Express. Um... Brighton to London, Victoria in the morning, 58 minutes. Uh, let's go to Custatic. I don't like it to start raining, so we're just going to go st static weather. So off the rails mode is not supported, Liam. Um, there is no equivalent for that. The electrics have to work. Now, if you were to take a bonkers formation and put it into a scenario planner working in off-the-rails mode, you might get away with more, actually. Um, only if the it's off-the-rails mode is going to control what power is delivered to the power pickups. It's not going to fix air brakes versus vacuum brakes. It's not going to fix electrical incompatibilities between vehicles. But if you make a third rail, a wacky third rail consist, then, you know, in theory, as long as... The, the compatibility between vehicles is okay. You can run it on Sandpatch, great, but it doesn't have third rail. That's that's what off the rails does. It it provides power where power isn't there. Okay, let's uh, get the doors unlocked. Go forward. 
it's like I said, it's a cool feature. Um, and uh, yeah, we just need to know, um, you know, what examples you're using, how you're doing it, and what we can do with it. Well, the problem about not being able to subscribe in game fixed. I wasn't aware of that one, MWHP. I will find out. JP, can you message me on Discord so that I can check that later on? <clears throat> Would a 165 and a 150 work? I have no idea. Try it, Thomas. Try it. Some things aren't spawning correctly at the moment, Mr. Roscale. Um, we have got some work going on to progressively go through all the stock and fix it, but it's a per item of stock fix, unfortunately, so it's going to take a little while. <clears throat> I think the latest patch fixed some trains, certainly not all of them, but it fixed some of them. What would happen if you put a Rug 37 coupled to an Azuma? I have no idea. What I suspect is physically it would work because I think they both got the same um, coupling. Um, but you probably won't be able to release the brakes on the Azuma. Because the Azuma doesn't have the electrical compatibility with a 37 to be able to um, understand the step change requests. We had to modify the 375 in that pack to work with the 37, and that means that the other packs are going to need um, modification as well. Other, other trains are going to need modification to work with the, the ROG 37. So you might have some challenges with the ROG 37. Uh, bug with the custom HSD, custom liveries. Um, I need. I think I've seen a screenshot. This is where the power car isn't working, isn't it? Um, JD, JP, ding. Send that one over to me, and I will. Uh, I'll find out what the heck's happened there. Fix the wipers, but hey, you know. Hey, Chronicle Reb, how are you? Good to see you again. Good to go to has socks. Uh, Sean Ward, can you have you posted on the forums or to the support about that issue? Um, if not, can you do so? If you have, then um, someone will um, make me make that known to me so I can find out what's happening. <clears throat> Couldn't you put the resumer in neutral and brakes off? Potentially. Try it. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. You might find that the resumer in neutral prevents you putting the brakes on in the 37, oddly enough, because of the air pipe connectivity. Um, or it might work. But yeah, give it a shot. Sometimes crazy things work. Aware of the issue with the screen, uh, Ralph and Graham. Um, I don't have any update for you. So currently we don't auto-download liveries for scenarios, um, Thomas. Um, we're bundling the formations in, but we aren't bundling the liveries in. Um, maybe at some point we can, we can improve that workflow, but at the moment, no, that's just how it is, I'm afraid. Oh, okay, so they've got, they have got different type of coupling, Schaffenberg and Delna. There you go, so that's why they won't couple then. Thank you, MJ. Which pack is the ROG 37? The, um, which one? What do they call the rest of the ROG 37 pack, folks? I can't remember now. Or is it just the ROG pack? Rail, op Rail Operations Group. Pff, 
Preston Park. Yeah, it's a separate DLC, yeah. Uh, rail So maybe Rail Operations Group. Rock 37 slash 7. There you go. Thank you, both JP and Scottish Trains Bar. Well, a 158, they had a couple to a 150 in formation designer. Um, I think they don't in game because of incompatibilities. That likely won't be any different in formation designer. Is anything being done about the 20 service limit on Scenario Planner for console? Not yet. I'd like to look at expanding some of those limits at some point, but um, it's not something we're looking at just yet. You're welcome, Reb. Glad you had a good day. Saturday off work. Nice, yeah. Got the weekend off as well, which is always good. Probably spend half of it working, you know me. Oh, they're not. Good shout, William. Liam, keeping me honest. Why can you spawn the Creators Club Autorec but not the other? I have no idea, SMRL. Again, make sure it's raised as an issue on the forum so that it can be tracked. Or, you know, directly via our support, whichever you prefer. Three point six miles to has socks. I just spent a bunch of time on the stream, Willie, um, doing the um, uh, going through formation designer, going through some of the things it kind of can't do. Slightly more interesting view. Yeah, for the uh, three seven, uh, the Thus thirty seven only has the coupling for. So in reality, the Rog thirty seven has an interchangeable coupling. They can talk to both the tight locks and Delners. Um, we've only modelled it with the Delna, so you can't connect it to tight lock couplings like the four six five. So I wouldn't expect that to work. Uh, Ralph Rang um, CSX-8 header train device being fixed. Not something that I've seen on the list at the moment. I'm afraid. I will look into it. JP. Ding. Thank you. Get back to my desk and have a Discord full of spam from JP. <laughs> AIPIS bug on southeastern high speed. Well, I had a quick look, having found out how... Um, it was fixed on the 323, and honestly, I don't think it's the same problem. I think it might be different, because the, uh, the code is entirely different. So I'm going to go and call in um, people more talented than myself and try and get it fixed that way. People asking about upcoming routes and previews and so on and so forth. Sunday is, is when you need to be joining the stream. Dovetail Direct on Sunday. When you think formation is on a release? I don't know the answer to that, Netrox. It's going to be as soon as possible. We've already made good progress in internal builds literally the night after we went live with some other fixes that had gone in. So, you know, development is proceeding, but we'll see what feedback we get. That, mean, that means there might be more fixes needed. Um, and the cargo stuff has got to go in, which is a bit more of a bigger job. So as soon as possible. Uh, we don't want it to stay in beta for long, um, but uh, we want to get on as much feedback as we can. We have an idea about passengers and free roam, Lillian, but um, 
nothing concrete to show. Yeah, Dovetail Direct is on this stream, on this channel, yeah. Jay Breeze, for the time being, I should be honest, I would avoid multiple units unless there, it works as an actual multiple unit, uh, like the Acela and so forth. You may, be, may or may not be able to do things with them, but there's some issues with how it, the multiple units are working at the minute. So uh, I would stick to uh, locomotives and wagons and coaches for the time being. No update yet on suspension, Josh. Can you use HST as a single unit? So I set it up so that you could, but I can't see it in the list, Thomas. So I don't know why. That's something I need to find out. I did actually specifically want... I wanted people to be able to mess with the HST as an individual unit. So you can find all the coaches there, but for some reason the power car isn't showing up. So I need to go and find out what I goofed there. Oh, it works with the power GWR one. Oh, uh, Okay. Maybe I didn't goof it then. I just didn't set it up on the middle of mainline one properly. I'll take another look and find out what I did. JP, ding. <coughs> oh, glad you're enjoying West Somerset, Neil. It sounds like an alerter going off, SMRAL. Is that when you spawn um, free roam? In which case, it might be related to the um, spawn on free roam issues that are going on. I would suggest shift enter, shift enter, and see whether that kills the sound. Uh, so, Wiley, the um, January roadmap wasn't done because we got the Dovetail Direct Stream coming along. So, the Dovetail Direct Stream kind of supersedes a roadmap. Um, so watch the Dovetail Direct stream. I cannot say this enough, folks. If you care about what's coming along in the future, you want to know anything about what's being released, you know, this the Dovetail Direct stream will satisfy your curiosity. Do show up, please. I can't remember Chronicle Rip. <laughs> Someone could tell me. Oh, actually, hang on. Seven o'clock on Sunday. That's UTC. What, what's UTC in, in, in English these days? I don't know. Hopefully you can figure it out. Uh, Devone, the game is DX11, uh, and you can um, make it run a DX12 by just pushing a command line dash dx12 oh we're on UTC currently there you go could we get a hint of what will be on the stream on the 11th of February well no <clears throat> cool stuff it's not vague, it's not, it's not loose, it's not um, waffle. Well, I'm, I'm on it, so there's lots of waffle, um, unless Alex has edited it all out. Um, and um, there's lots of good stuff. It's, it's, it's all good stuff. There's lots of really interesting information and lots of, you know, instead of saying, ooh, American route, ooh, British route, there's specifics. 
in lots of gory detail. Are you able to free roam electric trains onto diesel routes? Um, so you can't use um, things, there's no off the rails equivalent. So if you use free roam and spawn an electric train on a diesel route, it will not work. No idea, Devon. It's a DX11 game. I'll go and have a look. If you run in scenario planner, you can put it in off the rails mode and then it will do it. But there's no off the rails equivalent in free roam at the moment. I'm not sure how to answer that, Londo, because I'm not sure what you consider very, very strange and very, very worrying. By all means, send me a message privately. Um, I don't think there's anything strange or worrying on there. I know from some of the answers, it sounds like, does seem like some people are um, grasping the wrong end of the stick firmly and beating everybody about it. Um, so I think there might be some people run misunderstanding things, perhaps. So maybe the questions are misleading in a couple of ways, but. Yeah, sometimes it's about asking a, a, a broadside question just to see what variety of response you get. Even if there's no intention to go down that route. Gatwick Airport coming up in about 10 miles. In about 90 miles an hour. Is that it? 90 miles an hour? I like this bit. Let's speed this place. NYC Stuntman, uh, you need to be watching the stream on Sunday for news about upcoming releases. Heru, um, I don't know if you're aware, we just put a patch that's got hundreds of fixes in it. Um, so yeah, there there are fixes, um, or just literally just been released. Massive patch. Does it fix everything? No, but it fixes a lot. Hey, True Studios. I'm having to keep an eye on it. Just look at the time distance, right? Because sometimes I look back and think, oh, hang on, how many millions of years was it? Are we about to fly through a station? When's the suspension update? Coming at some point. I don't know when. Um, it is looking rather tasty, though, it has to be said. I, I, I was looking at Class 66 on it um, the other day, and, um, oh, that's nice. Quite gaming. I mean, we listen to the players an awful lot, um, even if it's not apparent sometimes. Um, and these surveys are your place to make a voice. And, you know, if a question is asked and the unanimous vo voice is no, then it's unlikely it's something that will be done, you know. Um, but sometimes the questions that are asked are not specifically for the direct thing that they're being asked about. There might be it might be a general broad shot into an area just to gauge, see what people's thoughts are of particular areas. So I wouldn't read too deeply into any of the questions. Answer the question, basically.
Well, SK, timetable update, have new suspension on the trains. We've got no plans to backport the suspension. It's quite a lot of work to update suspension on older trains, and we haven't even finished it on the TSW4 launch trains. So, um, no, no plans to go before TSW4. Do I have mods installed? No, Lauren Stout, I do not. I never run the game with mods. Well, maybe with Oello. Um, I, never, I never obey speed limits either, apparently. A Welsh route would be an awesome thing, MP Productions. Um, by the way, great name. Um, but um, there's not one at the moment, um, and no news on one. Um, but it's something I would desperately like to see. I have ideas for multiple options. Uh, Midland Main Line is Skyhook Product True Studios. You should probably ask them on that one. I don't know what their plans are. I know they're busy, but I don't know what they're doing uh, regarding that, if anything. Have I tried the UEVR mod? I have indeed, Ben. It's quite good. It all, but to be honest, as good as it is, all it did was leave me wanting something better. Sadly. But it is quite nice. It gives you that experience of sort of being in the cab in VR, which is, uh, and it works well. I drove for a bit in it. I enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, no, it's very good. It's very good. I loved uh, the, all the configuration options in it. I thought they'd done an amazing job on the uh, on what it does and how it does it. It's, I think it does about as good a job as you can expect from something like that, to be honest. Will Italian DLC ever arrive? Uh, no plans. Uh, Polo Grigiato. Um, but um, in, by all means, put recommendations in the suggestions forum for anything we'd like to see. Will we ever see York in the game? Well, the old one isn't, but the new one is. No, that's probably not a clever joke. It's unlikely mods in the way you're thinking, True Studios, will go on Creators Club. UEVR mod runs on Steam version. That's where I ran it, Avery Den. One point nine miles. Will Rivet ever fix the class three eight five? Um, best task Rivet on that one. Uh, I, again, I'm not sure what there. That's a third party pro de developer, third party project. Ping the uh, ping the developer on that one. They've got forums, I believe. Um, so uh, you can go and ask them on there. Let me know what they say. Oh yeah, Avery Den. It's well worth having a play with it. You, it costs nothing to try it out. What I'll say on the 385, though, is we're still trying to get access to a 385 recording trip ourselves. Um, and it's still proving elusive getting access to the 385. So we're still trying to get our own set of recordings for a 385. But yeah, nothing so far. I expect the same is true from Rivet, to be honest. Ooh, hello, Harry Plane. Can we get a Kawasaki M8 recording? We generally don't these days. It's very, it's very, quite rare for us to be able to go out to America and get recordings. Not because we can't get to America, but because um, getting access from the operators and so forth. New York, no one in New York has ever been able to give us access um, for recordings. Um, it's the likes of Caltrain, Metrolink that have given us the access. Um, <clears throat> 
So sometimes we're able to uh, rely on some of the local enthusiasts who can get lots of recordings externally uh, and sort of work something through. Uh, so Mike Cam has provided some stuff for us that he's been able to record locally. But no, it's, we've got no ability really to get stuff for a lot of the American railroads because they, they won't let us come and shove microphones on things. Do you know, Matt, which German route will come out next? Yes. What was the next question? <laughs> uh, Sunday. You need to talk to, uh, not Sunday for the next route, but Sunday is where you need to be. Dovetail Direct Stream on Sunday, 7 p.m. UTC. Um, all of the upcoming projects, all sorts of things. Um, it's all cards on the table, everything you ever wanted to know, and more besides. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> but no in all seriousness Sunday folks Sunday 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 yeah we work with fan railer uh, as well um, NYC stuntman so I think the Alp 46 we might have worked with fan railer on for example because I know that was another one we weren't able to actually go directly ourselves to get recordings on. No, it's best done through the depots uh, and through the appropriate chains. Um, Chronicle Reb, I certainly wouldn't want any drivers getting into any trouble for attaching things to their trains without permission. Will JD be there to leak a few things? No, it's me and Alex just leaking everything. All over the floor, you know? No tires left unstabbed. Is that a way of saying it? Probably not. It's probably quite weird, in fact. <clears throat> is there an issue because I have to reset my settings upon play uh, Rick contact our support provide details and we'll see what we can help you with maybe post on the forums there may be other players that have done the same thing is there a way you could work for DTG, NYC Stuntman? Um, well, potentially, yeah. We've got a careers website um, on, um, in fact, ECM, ECM2 has just uh, posted the link. Um, keep an eye out there for jobs that you, look, that you think would fit what you're doing. Uh, Koi Gaming, so it'll be a VOD available. As soon as it's broadcast, it'll be available as a VOD, so you can watch it any time you like. Accidents from the past, Chronicle Reb. It's um, accidents from the past. Nebworth is a station I flew through, because apparently it was the first time I'd missed a station. Um, and Fish Vans was, I pressed the wrong button, pushing some uh, Fish Vans at um, Paynton, and ended up going through the buffers and pushing them into the water, uh, instead of um, stopping, because apparently I pressed the accelerate button and not the stop button. Oops. <clears throat> JP's not mentioning the time I tried to put a train on a turntable and forgot to turn the turntable into the direction so that I'd land on track. And so I just threw it into the bit, into the uh, well. That was good. Kingsweir Harbour. There you go. Something like that. Yeah, Kingsweir. Painting doesn't ever. <laughs> Kingsweir. London Victoria Platform 13 as our next station. 23 miles. Due in at 9.54. 30 minutes from now.
I have never net worth many, many stations, uh, Bait Bean Kid, both on my stream and even on company streams. It's, that's always a fun time. Accelerating up to our 90 miles an hour. This is a 100 mile an hour train, isn't it? 110 even. Exciting times. Oh dear. How's everyone's day been anyway? I had a good day today. Busy, 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 busy. It's a start early, finish late day as usual. I went to the gym for the first time in yeah, yeah, forever. I've never, literally never been to the gym before. I went to the gym for the first time and it was just a personal trainer showing me around the equipment and, and walking me through the training plan he set out for me. And, um, I mean, honestly, we didn't do lots. You know, 10 reps of each thing, essentially. Um, and I think I'm starting to be able to move things properly again now. So, yeah, I'm starting from the bottom. But it should be fun. How do you all the fancy shots in things like route trailers? Lorenzo, the biggest, biggest... Um, asset to anyone recording videos is an Xbox game controller because um, it's it's like a movie producer's dream when it comes to be able to move the camera around organically and move sm smoothly because the problem with with this is I've only got fairly limited control of like of two or three things where so if I wanted to try and get this shot here you know I've got very limited control over getting that whereas with an xbox controller i can do all sorts of cool camera moves with it um or slow moves and so forth um so um yeah xbox controller is how a lot of it's done i turn my headlights on did i not i'm sure i turn my headlights on there they are look in the middle Oh, okay. Uh, I must have clicked it onto marker lights only. I, I did press the button. I saw it said day running, um, but... Uh, it's easier. Yeah, I'm not saying it's impossible, Koi Gaming, but it's a million times easier with a, with a game controller. It's not, Again, you can do the kernel cam with a game controller uh, much easier than you can with on a keyboard, but you can do it on a keyboard. Uh, again, kernel cam with the three is, is sort of is easier because you're already following the train. Speed limits, they're just guidelines, right? The problem is I'm looking at the chat. I'm not looking at the screen. Yes, I'm blaming chats. I want to put the 4K in at some point, Scotty, but I don't like how it is on TS Classic. I've got to be really honest with you. Um, so I've got a design for a better implementation, or in, in, in my humble opinion, better implementation. Uh, it just needs some time to get it done. Four camera is the one that, um, you know, you jump, it would jump ahead of you up here um, and pop the camera a bit away and then do that and then it would pop the camera further up. It's the trackside camera. But the problem is it would stick it behind a bush or under the track or you'd get lots of shots of the train going under you. And I just didn't, it's just nine times out of ten, I didn't use the four camera because I didn't like what it looked like. Yeah, there's nothing on the four key, uh, Liam.
Yeah, me too, to be honest, Koi Gaming. But it's easier with the uh, with the four cam in TSC, but not as good, in my opinion. So kind of want to improve it. Chronicle Reb, look in the pause screen. I can't do it on here, but under control guide, um, this will be for your game controller on a console. Um, and look up the operation shift layout. That's what holding that square button down does. Um, the operation, because there's a bunch of stuff in there. There's also a camera shift when you hold down the, uh, the camera key. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff there, like accessing all the different internal cameras, the, all the different external cameras, um, going up and down. Uh, vertically, there's there's all sorts of different stuff that have been added to there. You can have just a, a yeah, cruise controller, a, AFB, that kind of thing with uh, with operation shift as well. It's quite tough figuring the control schemes, Koi Gaming, and it's taken us a couple of goes to get it. I thought the original one was a good first pass, but I absolutely love the immersion control scheme. And then I really like the additions with the shifts that we were able to add. Um, so um, I don't take all the credit for that. There was multiple people that worked on and refined that design. Um, so it was um, a good team effort, and I think I'm, I'm happy with how it is. So I'm, I'm glad you like it as well. Thank you. Track kiss when trains are. So you mean the rail singing? It is something we've experimented with. Um, didn't like how it worked. Um, I can't remember what the main issues were, whether it was just that we didn't like how it sounded in the game, so we, we didn't continue with it. Um, but I know it is on the team's wish list to come back to. Marker lights, I think, are for if, like, if the train is stabled, then I think, you just, in fact, Mark, I think you just put tail lights on if the train is stabled. Um, so you'd, you'd stick that off and you'd put that on. So I think if you're stabled, you'd have red lights on both ends. Uh, I can't remember when you would just use um, uh, day running. I can't remember when you just use the markers. Lorenzo, so we have a thing called photo mode, which I believe is control F10, uh, which pauses the game and can move the camera around. Uh, and then you can adjust um, settings. I think that's what you're asking, isn't it? And then you can also go in here and you can adjust color settings as well. Yeah, we've become aware of the speed dial issue. Um, we're getting a fix for that up as soon as possible. So the 700 we've got is not the right 700 to go on to BML. Um, and even if we had the right 700, um, it would yeah, it wouldn't fit in the memory. So no, not at the moment. There's no plans for it. It's actually quite a big service pattern for the class 700 on BML. 
Uh, but it needs the FLU, um, the full length unit. You watched one of your old streams from SVG. One of the things that stuck out was when you said you wanted to get the weaving rail movement right. I don't know what you mean by weaving rail movement. Can you expand on that, Koi Gaming? Uh, will BML ever get updated sky like uh, the, the the new skies? Uh, no plans at this point in time. Uh, Wiley, as I mentioned earlier on, formations are not working properly in Formation Designer. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Um, so I would stick with Loco's pa passenger vehicles, uh, coaches and wagons for the time being. Um, and you'll get better support for uh, multiple units coming. It is something we're working on right at the moment. Right, so we're getting a drop down to 60 coming up soon. That's all right, we nearly slowed down for that anyway. Can we make an FOU from an RLU information designer? Not at the moment. Um, I don't know whether you will be able to, but an FOU isn't just taking two cars or taking some cars and adding them. They are different cars in reality. So you can make a 12 car RLU, um, but you can't make an FLU. It needs cars that don't exist in the game. That's fine. We've got um, people that work on the railway and so forth, True Studios as well, who could, it's like we know what it sounds like. It's just getting the physics and setup of it right so that it goes in the game properly. Curses, speed limits. But thank you for the offer. So the service platform, the southeastern service platforms are blocked off for the specific reason that they've not been modelled to the same level as the rest of Victoria where the southern thing is. So it's, it's, it's there for AI and distant rather than anything else. So that's why you can't currently go in there. Slowing down to 30. I don't know the answer to that, Koi Gaming. That's not ringing any bells. Not ringing any bells with me at all. So probably the safest answer is no, there's nothing happening on that front at the moment. But if you can see where I streamed it at all, DM me the link so I can go and read what nonsense I will go and watch what nonsense I was talking. And that might roll my mind that might remind me. Right, about to make the left turn. Head north. Carter, my week has been good, thank you. Oh, half the time, what comes out is nonsense, to be honest, Liam. I wonder if it's the the the, the, the suspension vibration, Koi Gaming, because um, 
there's a track property on on track in the game called roughness and uh, it may be that it needs dialing up on sound patch grade it's what makes the train kind of um you know do that on the uh, on the track um, the track is always perfectly flat, but it adds a roughness noise value to the axles, which then creates a little bit of um, bumpiness, which just is so heavenly with, with the new suspension feature. It mixes beautifully. Uh, no uh, plat dates planned for London Commuter, Richard. No updates planned for Munich, Wiley. True Studios, I must have missed something you said because all I can see is you've just said the keybind. Why does the train sound like it's restarting at times? I'm not sure. I've not I've not heard it, but it's quite quiet in my headset. Liam, we can see you. Yeah, I'm watching the stream on on Twitch. I've got the stream open on Twitch, so yeah, there's not there's nothing happening on uh, on Twitch. Everyone's gone quiet. Well, that's what I'm wondering, CC, is whether or not it's part of the gapping. You're just hearing it go quiet and back on again through the gapping. Uh, in what respect, Chronicle Reb, to make it or to um, to drive it? I imagine at some point, Wiley, but I got no, there's no plans at the moment to make it. can't think really I mean I mean Liverpool crew was obviously a special kind of um, nightmare because it involved making steam but otherwise than that not particularly no UK routes generally not too bad American routes are probably the hardest to make um, because of lack of access lack of reference um, and sorry but the signaling system <sighs> Total nightmare. So I fi I put a fix in for the pantographless four four twos in Arkham. 
I don't think it made it out in this patch, um, so I will try and get it out as uh, in the next patch. It was late on in the um, and the the final test out cycle for for that patch, so um, uh, it, I don't think it made it in, but uh, it should be in the next one. It's not even so much about secret ingredients, Koi Gaming. It's just security concerns. So two things. One is security concerns. Can someone use that information to do bad things? Uh, people stealing trains in America over the last little while has not helped that case at all. Um, and um, uh, or and um, yeah. So can people use it for bad things, like terrorist bad things? Can people use it for stupid vandally bad things? Um, so it's um, it's not an ideal situation. Oh yeah, totally, totally. You know, it's um, we don't want to put anyone in a place where they're uh, concerned for safety. There was a couple of subway trains nicked in New York a um, couple of weeks ago, I think. Maybe a month, I don't know. I think I saw it in the press. Or they released the brakes or something like that. It, either way, it's just like, come on. Why did you not do London to Peterborough but did Pong Peterborough Doncaster? Two very, very different routes. Um, Peterborough Doncaster uh, allowed us to focus on the high speed side of things. London to Peterborough, the team wasn't convinced they could do justice to it because it's a much harder route to make. Um, there's a lot more stations, a lot more going on, and London. Um, and um, But it's also quite a long route. Um, so it was, um, yeah, that, that was the reason for doing the other section, was allowed to focus on the high speed of the Azuma. Um, and also because, yeah, the team didn't think they could do justice to the other section at that point. On this train, they, they, this is not a problem. I think on the Electra, the, the other Electra style, 377, I think that's still a problem with the opening doors on the back. There's no fix for that yet, I don't think. It is something I'm going to chase up, though. No plans for a Todd 4 update on Tees Valley or older content at all, you know, whether they happen or not. There's no plans for that. West Somerset Railway wasn't planned, I've got to be honest. Right, coming into London, Victoria. <clears throat> if we could get access to recordings and so forth, I'd be right up for a bit of Norfolk Southern, but as it stands, it would just be a reskin of strains we've already got because we haven't got the uh, the reference recording and so forth. And I'm not sure that scratches the itch the way you want it. Right, red light at the bridge. I guess we're waiting for something to get out of my platform. We are a tad early.
Hey, Ted and Lisa. I'm very good, thank you. So, Koi Gaming, you're uh, or Pepe, um, it, depending on the route you're on. So, Bakerloo speed changes up and down always happen at the front of the train. And most routes in the world, um, your speed limit is the lowest speed limit any part of your train is on. So, if any part of your train is on track at 10 miles per hour, then that is the speed limit of your train. Um, and until you, all of your train is on higher speed track, you can't go the higher speed. So while the front of the train might be on 75 mile an hour track, the back of the train is still not. And then if you were to try and go 75 mile an hour, your passengers would be thrown all over the points or whatever. The reason is they, uh, um, they would, um, you know, the reason for the stop. I should have used DRA. Yes, you're right. But anyway, it's 20 after this point. Yeah, well early Simon's GoPro, but that's all right. An 801 charter on the SEML, nice. How do you use DRA? It's very simple. Um, if you're stopped and you pop the DRA, which is this one here, um, you just click it. So if I just turn it on now, now if I try and apply power, nothing happens. This literally does is it cuts the power out, so you can't apply power. You should be able to make that conscious yourself now, Terry, in the formation designer. Line power keep going on and off. Gaps in the third rail. Um, it's not constant. I'm going to stop early here because I can go show you before it ends. But if you look down here, as we come in here, you'll see that there's a gap here. If you were coming across here, then this gap here, you'd get no power. Um, and so you find that the, the power in, in your lead vehicle is going off because of those gaps. But other parts of the train have got power. So, um, you know, those vehicles are powered. It keeps going. Um, but yeah, that's why, that's why you get the, um, the thing. And you also find as you're accelerating out of a station, you'll sometimes sort of feel it bouncing backwards and forwards. It's because your vehicle's losing its power over those, joint, those joints. It's one of those things, actually, that's surprisingly easy, um, Chronicle Red, putting that in, because essentially we mark where the third rail is so that it can draw the third rail. We literally, you know, mark it and say this third rail here, and that's what causes the third rail to physically appear. Um, and we don't mark it where it's not, obviously. But then the, um, the game uses that to say, oh, well, there's no power here then. And then the uh, power collector doesn't receive any power. Um, so it's, it's kind of a... You know, one of the easier things that uh, that just happens as a natural because of the way the game is built. Right, we did glod. Yeah, there's not much speeding in there. That's not too bad. I've done worse many times. <clears throat> so, coming up next, we are going to go on the Linkereinstecker. Now, Linkereinstecker, if you do not have it yet, link this route, I'm not going to keep butchering the name, but this route, is 90% off. I think it's the most discounted item in the sale. Um, and it's quite a substantial route. So um, take advantage. Uh, let's go with 547, but we'll do it in the summer. Should be able to see what we are doing. Just a nice rapid run up the route. 
Why does the UK not use overhead continuous and still use third rail? We use both. Um, most of the country uses overhead. Um, the southern region still uses a lot of third rail. Okay, put the reverser in. Put it in forwards. Open the doors. PZB. Indeed. Break key unlocked. Good. Oh, sorry, no. Formation Designer isn't there yet. It's coming. It's coming. It's only in Steam at the moment in the as, as a beta. Sorry, my apologies. Does it take longer to build a route in TSW or TSC? Uh, TSW. Quite a lot longer. What's the voice saying? Uh, I can't remember, but it's basically just talking about the systems initializing, I think. I think it was probably the um, Zogbenine 9 flussing or something as I turned on PZB. Train monitoring system or something like that. Why was the thumbnail image for the N-Wagon red, not green? Because I've got a red one and it just pick, it's, it, it's load order dependent which of the thumbnails show up. If you clicked on it, you'd get the choice of either. Is there any possible routes that can implement the overhead capabilities of both the 387 and the 700? I mean, you can put them anywhere you like. Um, there, there are real-world routes where you can do that. Well, no, actually, not for the 387. I don't think that runs anywhere with overhead powers in reality. Uh, overhead power. Uh, 700 certainly does in reality. Why does London Underground have four tracks? Interesting, actually. So you've got... Um, let me pause it for a minute. You've got um, two tracks for your rails, for your, for your wheels, um, as Wise Hat says. You've got one track for your power, which is like the third rail power. The fourth one is what they call a return rail. Um, so when you, when, you have, when you plug a battery into something, you've got the plus and the minus, yeah? Um, so normally what happens with something like third rail is the, part, the positive is what's on the third rail, the extra rail, and the, the wheels then form uh, down onto the two main rails form your negative, um, which is the return. What they found on the London Underground was that using the, um, using the rails, uh, the main rails as the return was causing all sorts of um, erosion and damage and so forth to the soil and things under the... Um, um, under the tracks so they added the fourth rail as an insulated return rail to avoid that problem so that's why they use the a dedicated return rail rather than using it through the rails right so let's lock the door bing a brook this is a beautiful beautiful route It works well, apparently. There we go. I was too sharp off it. Train influencing, yeah, something like that. Go, go, go. No plans to update Great Western at the moment for... Because um, in order to update... If you updated the overhead lines to be all the way, then the rest of the route would be really wrong. Um, in quite substantial ways. So you'd end up with a really weird hybrid route that doesn't make sense. We looked at it and it it basically would mean making another route, making that route again. If otherwise otherwise you end up with something which doesn't make sense. And people already tell us they don't really like that kind of thing. So and that would be a worst case extreme of it, I think. It would need to be made as a new route, yeah, Chronicle Rev. But, yeah, there's no plans for that.
True Studios. Sorry, I keep missing what you're saying. Send it, send it to me again. I'm not using AFP at the moment, no. Let me throttle off AFB maximum. Turn AFB back. And then put the power on. Uh, that's all the right keys in all the right order. We would be golden. Right, we have AFB on. Yeah, the AF, the, the overhead lines on GWE, I don't know whether they've been replaced with real overhead lines. Back when we did Great Western, um, the game literally did not have support for overhead wire and power. Um, and um, they was done, I think, a scenery. No, I don't know if in the intermediate time that was, um, that's been changed, but I would expect to have to redo all the overhead wires. Oh, sorry, you said... Um, oh, okay. Um, what does AFB stand for? Automatic Fire and Bremsen, something like that. It means basically automatic go and stop. I think it's cruise control to you and me. No, what are you doing? So you can see the blue bar here, and I'm just setting a target speed. Um, so I use the use this lever here, the AFB speed. Um, and I set the target speed, and away it goes. I'm surprised Sifa didn't kick off a stink when I stood up there, Wiley, either. It would have done fairly in fairly short order. Yeah, but I haven't seen the question, True Studios. <laughs> I keep saying you, uh, you keep seeing your messages saying, please answer it. What is my, my I, I haven't actually seen the question. Can we get a honk? We can. Yeah, the mods are watching True Studios. Um, once they see it, then they can they can harass me directly um, and call it out for me. Most German horns are weird. It's because most of the time you would never hear a German horn. See you later, Paul. Yeah, Peninsula Corridor is free, um, and if you pick it up while it's free, it's yours to keep. So, seriously, go get it. What have you got to lose? Maybe some disk space? The Avalias look good, don't they, Raw DC?
Would you ever consider Asia routes? Um, I'm just going to say watch the stream on Sunday. Um, in terms of new routes and stuff. Um, I love the idea of doing Asian routes. I'm not sure we've got the right skill set to make it. There are third parties out there that, that do have that skill set, though. <clears throat> what have you all got to do on Sunday? Can I just be clear? Can I just double check? Can uh, what have you all got to do on Sunday? About seven o'clock UTC. Will there be passenger boarding in the future in free roam? Uh, we have a couple of ideas on that. Um, I've got nothing to report, um, Cabape. Have a bath. Thanks, JP. Get a cuppa. Nice. Watching Dovetail. Liam gets the points. Make sure you're watching the Dovetail Direct stream Sunday, 7 p.m. UTC. Especially if your favorite question is, will you make, are you making, what are you making, when's the next, etc. I will be on that stream, yes, why is that? Where are we going? Are we going? Yeah, we are. Heading this away. Are your headphones livery designer compatible? Not, unfortunately. Thank you, Wise Hat. I appreciate that. 420 is not cancelled, Wiley. Mike is just a very busy man. Who will be on the Sunday stream with me? Alex. Eleven clicks. Dropping back to one fifty again shortly. I'll try and actually do it this time. True Studios, it might be worth whispering. Maybe try whispering to me. Maybe it'll pop up on my screen and we're a separate window. Suffice to say we're not seeing what you're saying. Oh, sorry, I missed what you're saying as well, Chronicle. Hang on. No, I don't know. Can you try your question again, Chronicle? Rev? I can't see it. No, I can't see you ask. Oh, no, there you are. Yeah, ask your question again, Chronicle. Rev. Sorry. Oh, true. Sorry, you're on YouTube, so you can't whisper me. PCB will go off if you go over 160, yeah. I think it's like 164 at trips. I don't think this speed dragon has the um, speed ones. This, this speed magnet. I don't think this route has the speed control magnets, no, Liam. I don't think so, anyway. If it does, then I'll almost certainly trip them.
So I want to start with the service in the morning and I keep going into the very last service. Now I want to leave it on till the morning service the following day without cause issues. The timetable doesn't run more than 24 hours, no. Making timetables run over 20, or run over the day is um, surprisingly hard. One of the big challenges is, of course, it does calculations that say is time A after time B, um, and they are um, that would then come up with the wrong answer. Wrong answer. Now there is some improvement. So like the the um, good night, Ted and Lisa. Um, the um, uh, Castle Würzburg timetable does cross the midnight boundary. Um, but generally speaking, no. It's quite difficult to make it do um, wrapping. One of the conditions of a timetable wrapping is that everything has to go back to where it started to wrap properly. Um, the problem is um, that means putting all the wagons back to where they started, which means you'd spend half the day putting everything back and undoing the work you did in the beginning of the half of the day, which just wouldn't be realistic at all. It'd be nonsense, in fact. So. You effectively need to have a model like a five-day timetable to be able to manage a loop properly, and uh, it takes us an awful long time to make a one-day timetable, so a five-day would be uh, not a good thing. Gently bring in the speed down. Uh, so the, the, it is an IC1 that runs on this route, uh, and in this time period. Um, but um, it wouldn't have been. This was a modern version of the ICE one, so it would have been the original ICE one that would uh, that ran here in reality. But um, this way, you get to run the ICE one, even if it's not strictly the right um, era of H of ICE one. Right, coming into Bingerbrook, two kilometres. I've already slowed down way too much, but hey, we're five minutes ahead of schedule, so. Favourite community-made route you can read about on the forums? I'm way behind on the forums. I have literally not looked on the forums since I came back after Christmas. Um, I logged into, I logged in once and saw I had something like 300 messages um, in my inbox and um, just shut the forum again. I ain't got time for that. So I will try and get onto the forums and have a look and see what people are doing. Uh, generally, how would you consider the launch of the editor and what's the, what the community is doing already? I'm so impressed by what the community is doing. I mean, there are a number of issues with the editor that need to be resolved. Um, but uh, some of the stuff that I've seen, some of the new third parties who've got on board because of the editor, the stuff they're doing is amazing, frankly. Sorry, I'm just paying attention as I go into Bingerbrook, so I'm not really seeing the chat at the minute. What is the formation designer beta? If you go back to the beginning of the stream and rewatch it, um, Pepe, um, I did a complete overview of the formation designer, how to use it, some of the limitations in the beta, what the plans are. The key bind for the 700 warning depot horn, I don't know. I would try shift space. Um, probably shift space would be my best or control space one of those two I don't know um, maybe the beaky possibly um, add squeaky wheels to the 801 Azuma uh, I don't know shift space is photo mode is it? Ah, I use control of 10 because I'm weird <clears throat> Probably control space then. B is signal. 
I don't know. There may not be a keybind on it, potentially. I am just guessing at this point. There's no plans for more Jubilees at the moment, Terry. I'm afraid. Is S-Bahn Munich the only S-Bahn in Germany with LZB? It's not common. I don't think it's the only one, but it's not common. Frankfurt might use it, um, but I know Munich is one of the is one of the few that does. Uh, no upcoming fixes to it at the moment, Tag Michael. But that issue has not been. This you mean? This is the issue where when you you go to um, one of the services and the, this, this like the instructions stop going uh, on the way back to Manchester. If that's the case, then yeah, I'm aware of that. I don't know. It's part of the. Um, um, it's on the list to look at. Uh, we're already talking to the TS controllers people, True Studios. Uh, as and when we've got the API uh, for external interfaces in a good place, then um, you know I'm sure they'll be keen to uh, update their software. Let's get this AFB set to 90. Kill that. Signals have opened up nicely. British steam locos don't have a bell, no. Never have had, far as I'm aware. Is it a way of allowing more trains to run together? Uh, yes, indeed, it is, Liam. Yeah, Berlin might well, actually, yeah. That wouldn't surprise me. It's raining! I must have forgotten to click custom. Oh, well, it'll be raining now for the rest of eternity. Uh, there is a green level EDMU coming to one of the UK routes. Um, Richard? Watch the stream on Sunday. That's Evening Star, isn't it, Pablo? The bell was a, uh, was a thing that um, they do always on their final loco in production. Right, Koblenz is next. And this is where I think we hit the scenic. Just as the fog comes in, stops us from seeing anything. Thanks, game. Is it possible to import routes and trains from Trains in Classic to Trains in World? Nope. Not at all. There's a completely different method of construction, unfortunately. See you later, Craig Gaming. Thank you, Raw DC. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And keep giving us a hard time, because it keeps us on our toes. I'd rather know what you really think than get the sugar-coated version, gotta be honest. It all helps us get to a better product, yeah? 
Are you planning to start new collaborations with new third-party developers? We have so many third-party developers we're working with at the moment, Stefano. So many. North Wales Coast, I think, uses ETCS. Uh, oh, no, it's another line in Wales that I can't remember the name of um, that uses it. Cambrian Coast. Thank you, Pablo. I would love to do... You remember the Canadian Mountain Passes route in um, TS Classic? I would honestly love to do the Canadian Mountain Passes route in TSW. It was so pretty. It essentially joins the Kicking Horse Pass and the Rogers Pass together, running Revelstoke via Golden to Lake Louise. Um... You've got the double spiral tunnels on the uh, on the uh, eastern section. The Albert Bridge is it on the western section. And obviously the massive yard and golden in the middle. Really, really pretty. I'm sure that would look stunning. No, that's not a leak. I said I'd like to. Did I ever get a chance to ride in a 175? No, I've never been in a 175. So we're winding our way up the Rhine now. This is the left Rhine. So they've got the railway here, the Rhine in the middle, and then there's the right Rhine railway that runs over there. But the left Rhine is where all the busy traffic goes. Con the keyboard shortcut for AFB is Control R to toggle it on and off. And then R and F adjust the, uh, the control forward, up and down. blown panic mode there. <clears throat> yeah, my pink headphones are sitting on my desk, my computer at uh, on, on the desk back there. These are the, the ones we've just got in the streaming room. I really should get Alex to upgrade it so we've got proper, proper sensible headphones, but, you know. I've got like four or five sets of the pink headphones now, Richard. Um, the two USB versions don't work very well, so they don't get used much. Um, and then I've got two, the wireless Bluetooth ones, which one of which I use on my desk, one of which I use at home on my home streams. But I will pass on to Alex that you feel I should have, you know, pink headphones in the streaming room as well. I agree, it, he needs doing. Is it possible to stream on console again? Not here, although I could do. I need to set something up if I want to stream on console here. 
Um, but, um, at home I can. I've got PS4, PS5, and Xbox Series X set hooked up into the uh, system. Lots of pretty cars. I love this route. It's really pretty. Don't forget, it's 90% off in the sale if you haven't picked it up yet. It's um, it's worth getting. The ICE one is part of Castle Wurzburg. PZB catches us all out. The IC one only came with Castle Wurzburg, yeah. Well, actually, there is another IC one that goes in one of the packs. It was IC one and IC three. Um, but. The layer here is specifically for the Castle Wurzburg one. Leon, happy birthday for tomorrow. Have a great one. See you later, Chronic Web. Yeah, if you look in the, because um, there's the IC3 rainbow and the IC1 in green, is it? Like the green stripe? I think. I think they were in the same pack. It was the green striped one, yeah. It was a Castle Wurzburg DLC, but you don't have to own Castle Wurzburg to use it. Here come here comes the uh, no thou shalt not see anything fog. It's the rain. Uh, possibly DMJA, possibly. Um at the moment we've kind of scoped it for you know what we know works sensibly. Um but we may allow that higher so that um, you can make a formation that fits your system. No plans to add 700 to London Commuter. It's the wrong 700. Yeah, yeah, and we've only got the RLU. You'd need the FLU, which means modelling additional coaches, which are different to the coaches that are in the game already. So no, no plans at the minute. I'd like to see a 380 Luke. You know, they've got... I love the, the weird way that the front is and then the way that the, 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 the corridor connections come out. I think that's just... They're so quirky, the 380s. I always enjoyed it in TS Classic. No plans, but I do like the idea. Hey, 822, how you doing? kind of like the ICE3, I've got to be honest, because it reminds me of the Series 500 Shinkansen's. It's got like a German bullet train. This thing's a tank. It's a high-speed tank. <laughs> Do 
Leon, any chance in the future you could add? But who knows what's coming in the future, Leon? Um, nothing's nothing's impossible, but no, nothing to share, no plans, etc. If you want to know what is coming, um, then join us on Sunday. For, uh, that's what we're going to talk to you about on Sunday. Luke, it's my first time watching a TSW4 stream. Congratulations and welcome. Uh, ADI Turin Atmos, new here. Does the game have tutorials? Yes. Uh, we have a thing called a training center. Um, and um, inside the training center, you'll find t tutorials for various game operations. And every train comes with tutorials on how to drive that train. They're relatively simplistic tutorials, but you'll get the uh, um, you'll get the idea. If you have any feedback on the tutorials, do let us know. I'm well aware that there's plenty of room for the room to be improved, and we are looking at that. But um, let us know. Let us know what you think, and you know where you think you could use more help. Tutorials are something that we've tried to iterate every time in the game, and we think we're there, and then we we realise we're still not quite there yet. A Boeing 737 cake. That sounds amazing, Leon. Go and have a great birthday. Yeah, the safety systems are a challenging one because of the way the tutorial system works, sorry, systems, but I think they're, they're almost better off being videos, um, but it's something that I'm, in, I'm interested in trying to figure out the right way on. Hey, Pay, can you send me details on that traffic light model? J JP, can you find out what that is? Can you ping me the details? I'm interested in what that does. Slow bit of the route. Nice and slow. No visibility. Cost. The camera view is a passenger carriage. It's really difficult because how do you drive the train if you're not seeing what the train is doing? It's it's it's, it's a challenge, and it doesn't help with the fact that the um, yeah, there's a, there's a number of sort of weird structural reasons why that's difficult in the game because of the simulation nature of what it's doing. I get this, I get what you're saying, um, but. No, we thought that for, in, for a number of in, for a number of reasons, it makes sense to just be a passenger if you want to be a passenger. I'll put some more thought into what we could do on that though, because I get I get why people uh, are asking for that.
A C for penalty break. Let's do that, shall we? Should we just let C for do its thing? And I'll see if I can remember how to make it work again. Steel wagons on the left there. TTU 772, 722, something like that. There we go. Boom. So in theory, I can just press Q. Right, there we go. So it's we stop the alarm, but it'll stop the train. Zero the throttle out. And then over here, I think. Not break over charge. Hill HLL fill, there we go. Pipe pipe is charging. Brake uh, brake cylinder is there. Key thing is that fill button, which will reset the uh, brake pipe. That's that BP gauge down here. If it hits zero, then you're not going anywhere. Uh, Sebring, I am running Linkerine Strecker, which is 90% off in the sale at the moment. It's frankly ridiculous. Um, and I'm running the IC1 on Link Rhine Strecker. So this is one of the layers that comes from Castle Würzburg. I, I had to hold my hand to do that um, roll. It's like sometimes I forget, but when I actually know that I'm doing it, I literally have to hold my hand to stop myself from pressing the button. Twenty one kilometers. Why do you use the right click button a lot in the game? Why are you sometimes spanning it? Right click? I'm not sure what you mean. Just toggles between those two. What else are you seeing? Sorry, I mean on Steam, yeah, Mark. I'm not sure what the discounts are on other platforms. On on Steam, it's 90% off. My apologies. Oh, it stopped raining. Or it's raining less, at least. Second, that's the whole IC is in the section. That's the skyhook question, I'm afraid, Yan Zim. Um, platinum medals, no plans to update it on older routes at the moment, um, but it may or may not happen, but there's no plans at the moment. Uh, 
DWE apparently has them now. Oh, there you go. Then. I hear that for some people that setting is not saving. Um, Adam, uh, I wonder if that's what you're seeing as well. It's one of those bugs that it doesn't, it's like whack-a-mole. So it doesn't matter how many times you hit it with, on, with a hammer. It just keeps coming back. Speed to 120. It doesn't help that it's um, rubbish weather, ABR. It's not potato, but let me just double check the settings. I'm sure I checked the settings recently and it was on Ultra. Ah, just worth double checking though, just in case, because you never know. Screen, yeah, Ultra. So that's fine. Advanced settings. Uh, I could probably get away with pumping that up on here. But yeah, the fact that it's raining doesn't help much. Am I a locomotive driver in real life? No, I'm an executive producer in real life. The beam? You are, and it's awful. Warning of drop to a hundred. No kind of ATC or ETCS. Um, no, this is using PZB uh, and um, CIFA on this part of the route. There's not even any LZB uh, on this part. But I'm using PZB and um, uh, so you can see the PZB stuff here. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Uh, for Germany, I'm on the correct side though. Yeah, the, the lighting has high points and it's low points, and this is definitely a low point. That road being stupid, for example. Uh, Pete, yeah, it was, I was really pleased when I heard we were going to be able to get the game back on Game Pass. It's a stunning route, this, Adam. It really is. When it's not in silly weather mode. A game doesn't do well in the rain, it has to be said, because it blows everything out. But, what's going on with that? The lighting on this is terrible.
Is there a certain process to go through to get onto Game Pass? Yeah, quite extensive. Quite extensive. Lots of stuff that goes on for that. I'm not privy to most of it because I'm not involved in it, but I know that it's the team who worked hard on that process. Hey there, Dr. House. Doing well, thank you, Derek. How long have we been going, anyway? Two and a half hours. Lovely. Dr. House, you like the IC1, do you? Nice. Yeah, they are good. It's 6.30 in the morning, Adam, so there might be lots of traffic. You will be start ramping up for rush hour in probably the next half an hour or so. Dovetail Direct is uh, Sunday. Um, it's a pre-record, but it's done in the style of a live stream. So, but yeah, watch it. You'll see. Being a pre-record means we can put a lot more... Um, stuff of various types into it. The end result is better, I think. Uh, the beam, it's a 401. Um, BR-401, it's the ICE-1. Have I not set the headlights <laughs> this entire journey? There it goes. It's probably you stand up while it's going. That's better. We've got white lights now. I was looking for the my headlight switch. <laughs> Up. The yellow line to come back up, charge everything. <clears throat> no, well, yeah, see, forgot me because I stood up the beam. After a couple of seconds, it times out and immediately penalties you. We don't have a handheld C for the beam. Once you stand up, and C for is released.
I could just disengage it. You're right, that was a good one. Yeah. Should have thought of that, really. Six and a half kilometers, and then we're done on this journey. Bad Pete, I know that you know some of the team are experimenting with Unreal Five, but uh, nothing concrete. Late to Koblenz wouldn't be the first time. Have you considered making Train Sim World 4 available on GeForce now? I'm sure I recall some discussions happening along those lines. I don't know where they are. There's nothing happening anytime soon, though. Still dithering whether to get Horseshoe Curve and Cane Peak in the cell to complete all TSW DLCs. Not a fan of long US freight routes. The only thing that keeps you making taking the plunge. So Cane Creek is a bit harder to, to run because it's quite slow. Um, but Horseshoe Curve is quite entertaining, actually. And there are shorter trains that you can run on it, and it's got the challenge of the steep gradient. So Horseshoe Curve, um, I mean, that's certainly a good route. I, I enjoy Horseshoe Curve. Um, 120. B trip. Right, this is Koblenz. Yeah, Amtrak, like a P-42, the Genesis, and some Superliners would be a good thing generally. Um, in, but you'd be like two services on each route, um, and it'd be the coaches. There's, there's a lot of different types of coaches to model, so that's why it hasn't been done so far. Um, but no, I agree. I think I'd like to get Genesis in the game at some point. Good evening, uh, you Oh, it's Amfleet's over the horseshoe cup. Okay, so it just needs the P-42s then, doesn't it?
Both my wife and youngest are going to be asking me for a, uh, a lift at some point. They were out at a gig tonight. Just keeping an eye on my phone. Close doors. Uh, just sorry, this is Left Rhine, Link Rhine Strecker. Right, that's main menu. Right, I'm going to do the MP36 on Caltrain next, but I don't know how much of it we're going to get until uh, I, I think it's around 10 ish, 20 minutes or so, when um, they said they might bring me for a, uh, a lift, but uh, we'll go until I get the call, basically. Not Caltrain, it's um, Peninsula Corridor. Timetable. Baby bullet timetable, MP36. And we'll go San Francisco to San Jose Diridon. Custom weather, light clouds. Well, that and overhead electrics and a whole new type of train, bad guy. <laughs> Doors up. Upon. Control on fuel pump, generator field, engine run. Don't need marker lights, put gauge lights on. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, anything on the back wall? I can't remember. Single or intermediate unit, isolate some switches on run, ground lights off, deck lights off, pneumatic. Off. Cool. Yeah, in the real Caltrain, they've got the um, Stadler Kiss trains that they're in the process of deploying. So, yeah, European EMUs on American routes. So it's, uh, it's a trip. Doors. Wait for the brakes to finish releasing. I don't remember setting my headlights. That's around here, isn't it? Headlights front. So this route, Galtrain, is free on Steam. I don't know if it's free on the other channels. It's certainly free on Steam. Um, and um, the MP36 is on discount on Steam. It's like 50 or 60% or something. As is the MP15 DLC for it as well. You enjoy the new design of just like excellent. Glad you enjoy it. It's good fun. You can you can do all sorts of wacky things with it. San Francisco.
gallery cars. Nippon Chariot gallery cars coming in. Uh, it's a huge upgrade to get the electric upgrade, Jay Breeze. Something I, I've been looking at, I'd like to do at some point as a new route, at least, because it, it would be quite a different route, and you wouldn't want to take the older experience away. Um, but yeah, no plans at the minute. I mean, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? You could take the F125 and the Amfleet coaches and run those over Horseshoe Curve like an Amtrak passenger train. Or if you get an F125 at the front and put a bunch of um, gallery cars, Nippon Shario gallery cars behind it, Maybe you can imagine that it looks like Superliners and a um, P-42 at the front. Although the F-40 actually would fit if someone's got a livery. I guess someone... I don't know if anyone's done the livery for it, but if you the, do a livery of the F-40 into something I'm tracky, um, then um, paint the coaches up, and then you could use the F-40 in the uh, Superliner. Oh, you've done both, JP. <laughs> hey, you all. How's it going? Watch the stream on Sunday, Braden. We have our Dovetail Direct stream on Sunday. It's a big event. Lots of news to announce. In detail. Nothing wishy-washy. Nothing coy. Real details. It's a proper baby alert service. It's not stopping here. Excellent. You're on this channel, uh, Flying Drones. What would you like to see on MBTA, Richard? Scepter's unlikely. I think that we've never had any joy with licensing there, but MBTA potentially. Train Hunter, this is Caltrain, Peninsula Corridor. And just in case I haven't mentioned it enough, it's free on Steam for a very short time. So grab it while you can, and then you can keep it. The whole route is 60, 70 miles, something like that. It's the whole line down to us. The line down here to... Uh, um, there. <clears throat> San Jose, that was the word I was... That was the name I was trying to think of. 
Dovetail Direct is um, not a replacement for roadmaps normally. We'd, we'll be back to roadmaps next month, but um, we uh, want to do something a bit bigger because of the Festival of Rail thing, so we replaced the roadmap with the Dovetail Direct. Uh, train Hunter, ping our support people for help and they'll they'll figure that one out for you. You don't pay for it. You should be able to keep it. Uh, train hunter, yeah, San Francisco to San Jose on the west coast. GBRF has some beautiful liveries, Pablo. Beautiful liveries. I always enjoy seeing their trains. Breaks for this curve. Hey Nick, how are you? Five point three for San Bruno. Jeeps or SDs? Jeeps, aren't they? Two axle Jeeps. Playing TSW all day, Nick. Nice. What have you been playing? This section of the route is definitely open. Uh, you've got a river on the uh, on the left here. Gets a bit more built up as we go on. Top right map doesn't show gradient, no. Just upcoming speeds and signals. If you want to see gradient, you can press pause and you can see the, uh, holy Moses, what have we got going on over here? Jeez. Someone remind me what, I did, what we managed to get to on the charity stream. It was an incredible total in the end, but I can't remember. Because it was more than five minutes ago. But it was an, I remember it being an amazing amount, a lot more than I anticipated. It's 
what I want to say, Richard. I can't say it with any authority because I can't open the to check it at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it was just over that, yeah. Pre-gift aid, 4,715. There you go. It'll come soon, Nick. It'll come soon. Blackpool is very good, isn't it? I've driven it a bit myself recently and uh, very enjoyable. The 142 is a treat. It really is. Colnac on timetable is paused at the moment. Um, Joe's been busy. You guys plan to update more routes to Todd 4? Um, no official plans for it, but, you know, I know some of the team are interested in having a, doing a West Somerset project style project themselves, but none that I'm aware of underway. I mean, it wouldn't add, you know, um, there's nothing stopping you memory or anything wise extending the route, but Tees wasn't that popular a route actually on the rails, so I'm not sure it's the best place to spend the time. eventually stop no plans to update this route yet um, Kib Kib Thanos no we don't have Vectrons here or anything like a Vectron Nick not as far as I'm aware Not yet, Amada. It's one I'd like to get, though. Being as I'm from the great, um, I used to live on the Gemmall Line. Grew up on the Gemmall Line. Nick, do you mean roadmap? Um, roadmap is uh, being replaced by a thing called Dovetail Direct this month, and it's on Sunday, 7 p.m. UTC. See you later, Cabo Pete. Lil Bray.
Well done for staying in the right chain. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, I'd like to see more DM, for more second-gen DMUs on the rails. Um, anything is possible, but I've got no. There's nothing like that on the uh, on the roadmap. Tato, pink headphones are sitting on my desk over in the other office. was the uh, advance warning. The final band has apparently just gone on, so I'll be finishing soon-ish. The button for the bell. There. Yeah, I don't normally bring the pink headphones in here because it kind of... I need to re-then set the audio up and the um, voice meter software so that it's working with the other headphones and then put it all back again for other people because literally nobody... If anybody else comes in and needs to do streaming and my pink headphones are plugged in, they come and get me to, to take them away. <laughs> Stephen Wood's side, no roadmap this uh, this time, but um, we're doing the Dovetail Direct stream on Sunday, which is replacing the roadmap. Well, I keep telling them this, Tag Michael, but um, then they say, oh, well, I'm not streaming then. <clears throat> so on Preston Blackpool, there are a range of different 142s in different time periods on the rails. And so you'll find the, um, the, um, the old bus doors in the older version. Wasn't a bad stop, was it? Really, you know, the uh, the coach is perfectly on the platform, you know, perfect. Burlingham or Burlingamy, I don't know. I believe there's an article going out, Walt, um, but I will double check that. Berlin game. Right, so I was saying Berlin game. What do you mean by is the orbiting a train fixing core? I don't know what you mean. Do you use some buttons on iPad or tablet? I just use the keyboard, Captain John. I'm just using keyboard.
cut power and get ready to stop in Burlingame. Oh, it's a core. It's a core thing, Liam. Run just coming into Berlin game now, 2800 feet. I either stop in one of two places, so uh, usually with this train, I either stop at the wrong end of the platform or pass the platform. <laughs> I'm not even going to finish this one on the rails. I'm literally waiting for a text message from my wife um, to let me know that I need to go and pick them up. They're out at a gig and uh, want to lift home because yeah, it's not a nice area to walk around in. Uh, well done. Enjoy Horseshoe Curve, Richard. Let us know what you think. And don't forget, Formation Designer, if you're on PC, to um, make up some passenger trains to run on there. No, no, all good, Elden Royals. All good. I stream myself. I, I, I try and stream myself on my own channel. Um, and, you know, I ran Preston a little while ago, but could certainly run it again at some point. I'm probably going to do another stream tomorrow on my channel. Tonight I would have been on my channel normally, but I got roped into doing this one because I can't say no to Alex. San Mateo. Yeah, I've been streaming for a long time, Amada. <laughs> Hey, Beastie Bill, how are you doing? Good to see you. Bit more Scott Rail, I think, would be awesome. Mind the gap, I totally agree. Stuffing your face, Beastie Bill. Well, there you go. So, if you haven't, let me just catch everybody up that's been busy um, stuffing one's face um, and not watching the stream. <laughs> I don't understand, but, you know. <laughs> um, the, uh, the Dove Sunday, Dovetail Direct stream um, is uh, Sunday, 7, 7 o'clock UTC. Um, if you want to find out all the latest news and information, make sure you're there on Sunday. If you can't make it, it'll be on VOD afterwards, and hopefully there'll be an article or something. I will check with Alex. Um, but... Highly visual stream, lots of stuff to show, videos. It literally is a tons to show you type stream, so I'm not sure an article would do it justice, to be fair. Um, it won't be a hugely long stream. It's, it's really one of the benefits of it being pre-recorded is that it can be to the point uh, and sharp. Um, so tons to see, tons to talk about. Um, so make sure you're there. Um, and don't forget the Festival of Rail Soul, the song uh, sale that's on at the moment. Um, where this route, for example, Caltrain, is free on Steam.
Good night, Jack. Yeah, no, I remember your name, Armada. Sometimes I lose my mind and do longer streams like that. I don't really try and do 24 hour anymore. I did that twice. And I don't mind it as much, but I'd much rather do the split streams. I normally do two 15 hour streams now. Station is next, Hildale. I appreciate that, Stephen. Thank you. I just want to sit here and enjoy the game and chat to everybody. We all like trains, yeah? One doors. Thank you. You picked up uh, left uh, LFR, uh, Scott Rail, and West WSR, and <laughs> WSR fifty two. Nice. What are your thoughts on the Edinburgh Glasgow route? Um, I mean, I, I, I wish the, the three eight five had better sounds, but I know that River tried their best on that one without access um, to get audio recordings, uh, and we're still trying to work with them um, to try and solve that. Um, the uh, but otherwise than that, I quite enjoy the route. I enjoy running the line. I haven't written, I haven't written, ridden it that much, um, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to running it some more. It was one of the routes I wanted to get in, and they 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 beat us to it basically. <laughs> Is WSR a fun short route to buy? It's um, it's depends on if you like the 25 mile an hour running. It's only you know a short route, but you only do it at um, uh, 25 miles an hour. So that 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 sort of 20 something miles, whatever it is, takes like an hour and 16 minutes or something like that. So it's um, it's not a short in time run. Um, but if you like to just go slow and enjoy the scenery and you know the preserve railway, then yes. Um, if driving at 25 miles per hour is going to drive you potty, then less so. But honestly, there's obviously there's nothing to stop you just ignoring the speed limits like I never do at all, ever. Twenty-two miles, thank you, Pablo. Well, I, I treat West Somerset as a palate cleanser. Um, and what I mean by that is um, it just makes a break. It, it, it change, it's a change of pace. There's different trains doing different things. You've got the steam timetable now if you've got the Peak Forest route um, to add the layers for it. Um, and I also really, the 33 and the 52 are some of my favorite trains So uh, in the game. So um, one of the things I, I like to do on West Somerset is run the 33 which is the smaller of the diesel locos, and put it on the biggest passenger train because then you have to max out the power to get it up the hill into... Watch it, is it? I can't remember. Um, but, um, yeah, that makes for a, quite a fun drive. Oh, MP15 going the other way. See you later, mind the gap. Yeah, I thought when I, when, uh, I got the um, lead artist to fix the, um, the wipers and when I was checking through it, um, I found out what was involved in upgrading to the new rain effects and it was quite easy, so I did it at the same time while I was testing. <laughs> it does look nice, doesn't it? I thought we'd fix that, Len. Honestly, it's driving me potty, that issue. Um, I'm going to go and um, talk to people, find out why that bug keeps not getting fixed when I keep asking people to fix it. A 
are bug people about the bug. Yes. I'm hearing mixed reports on mods, um, Pablo. Some people telling me they don't work at all and we broke everything. And I've seen other people updating their mods and saying they work fine. So I'm, I, I'm keen to get more information. Hey, Nelly. Well, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy the Blackpool route. It's, uh, it's great fun. While you're at it, Go and grab yourself a free copy of um, this route, the Peninsula Corridor. It's free for just for this weekend. Yours to keep. Belmont. Am I feeling positive about this year for TSW? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I hope after Sunday everybody else is like, yes. <clears throat> yeah, there's lots of good stuff. And lots of stuff that, to be honest, isn't even on the Sunday stream. There's just tons going on. Right, coming into Belmont. Oh, good, 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 Nelly. What's next? San Carlos. Yeah, just a reminder, I'm waiting for a text message saying that it's uh, they've got a couple of um, songs left and then I'll have to shoot so we're not going to make it all the way I'm afraid but we'll go as far as we can No, me too, Simp Man, to be honest, but I'd rather it was right. And it's taking longer to get it right than I'd planned. But it is progressing. I saw the 66 yesterday, um, and it's beautiful. Oh, my word. Open, opening extra doors. Heading for San Carlos next. Now, the suspension system has proved a lot more difficult. 
HTML has its own 66. Yes, Liam. Uh, suspension is only going to be on TSW4 rolling stock. Now, whether it gets backported ultimately to other stock, it's a bit like Todd 4, isn't it? There may be opportunities, but there's nothing planned to put it before TSW4. It's not a quick job to put it on. Oh, that's good, Terry. Glad that made sense. Right, coming down for St. Kylos now. Dynamic brakes have kicked in. So we've decoupled M3 simulator guy, so you don't need to own Lear now. It's just, you know, we are starting to go through some of the loco DLCs and decouple them. The M3 also got a fix, the wheel blur got fixed on it. I can't remember if anything else got done on the M3, but the wheel blur got certainly fixed. Well, the big concern with suspension is that if it's wrong, it throws you off the track, you know, and that's rather devastating, so. No, well, honestly, Simp Man, we thought we were further on with suspension than we were. That's the, the short truth of it. <clears throat> in hindsight, I would have just not mentioned it at all and removed it as a feature, and we'd have carried on working on it in the background. It wouldn't likely go into orbit, it would more likely just either make you um, quite nauseous, um, or would um, just derail off the track. As some of the early problems sort of we had. Is there a new timetable update Bakerloo line for TSW2? Not for TSW2. I don't think so. I think the update has only gone out for three and onwards. I don't think it went back out to TSW. I can't remember ultimately what actually ended up going out uh, on TSW2. Right, next station is Redwood City. Still no text message. There is always a net worth, Lord of Chaos. There is always a net worth. Yeah, I was really surprised when they said that's what they were doing, Simp Man. I was like, oh, wow, that's that's not nothing. That's cool. And the MP15 and MP36 are both at like 60% off as well. So you get the route for free, then the two DLCs to sort of finish that area um, for a fraction of what you'd pay normally. Uh, Peninsula Corridor, Lord of Chaos, is free on Steam. Don't know if it's free everywhere else. I know it's free on Steam. We've used the GCR actually to record quite a number of different locos, Terry. I think the 31 might have been recorded up there. Can't remember what else.
Honestly, if, I, if we were to do another preserve railway, I mean, the obvious ones are the Blue Bell and the Seven Valley. Something like that. Yeah, I think the 37 was recorded up there as well, yeah. I honestly don't know that much about Grand Central, to be honest, I'm on Dial 1. So, you know, not saying no, I just um, don't know enough about it. I need to go and pay a visit, you know? The other one I liked that I went to see was the um, Keithley and Worth Valley. I thought that was really pretty. And a really interesting driver's challenge because of the way it's all throttle on the way up and all brakes on the way back. Hey, Josh. Surfliner would be good, Lord of Kers, but that's a big old route. It's like 140 miles. It took an 8 effort. Oh, nice, Amadar. Only a little, little, tiny bit jealous. No plans for such rail van. Right, Menlo Park. Still no message. We can go. So the big boy and Challenger are unlikely to happen, to be honest, JBs, because they would require pretty much brand new steam physics to be built. Um, different power systems, different... Uh, they're oil-powered for a start. Even if they're coal, they're a different type of... Like, they're, they're auto... auto. Um, they use an auto fireman um, for loading the coal. Um, and um, they're also mallets which is nothing we can, we've can we done at the moment. So those two trains, I would say, are um, probably unlikely. Uh, an A4 is certainly something I would like to see, but no plans at the moment. Adam works a skyhook now, Stephen. It's like a... Oh, of course I'm still going strong. It's only three and a half hours into the stream. We've barely begun, except we're about to finish. Automatic stokers, that's it. Yeah, like I said, I'm just waiting for a text message um, saying they're ready for me to go and pick them up. Any chance of an MP36 DLC for Antelope? Well... Um, all I can say is when it comes to is it this, I'll be making this, is that coming Sunday 7pm UTC watch the stream I cannot state enough that it is worth watching if that isn't dropping enough hints as to the value of the stream then I don't know what else to say Seven PM UTC, Armadawa. Your Vectron shows us a red cross and a black background. Where? DJ Snap Attack. in the low coast to choose from. Interesting. Oh! Uh, that sounds like the Vectron that was part of Castle Würzburg briefly. Um, read out, delete and re-download. 
So initially, when we developed Castle Würzburg, it was going to be part of Castle, an add-on for Castle Würzburg, uh, and then it got changed. And I think there was a packaging error on one of the platforms. Um, and if you delete and re-download it, I think you'll get the updated version, or something like that. Failing that, contact our support. They'll probably know more, a lot less, a lot more than I do. US platforms are often lower than UK ones, yeah. You'll find there's a lot more of steps to get onto trains like this. Some US platforms, you'll notice it on Boston, they've got a specific raised one, which is the one for disabled access. But normally it's the exception. Normally you're stepping up. I think where, where routes are being modernized and upgraded, they're, get, they're getting that fixed because that's clearly a ableist way of doing things. I think this is a 3080 graphics card. Um, unboxing. Love to do a route in Australia. The problem is the um, licensing. Real, we we have been trying, not making lots of progress. Yeah, you'll notice here the uh, the trains have um, the steps to get on. This isn't as bad. The gallery cars are quite lots of steps. That's one of the problems, yeah, Tech Michael. They can't keep up with the modern requirements like that. Uh, no plans for Devon route at the moment. I want to try and do one at some point, but not at the moment. I've had two or three ideas sort of on the table and bounced off again for other things, or taken off because for various reasons. Dan, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This is just me waffling. Uh, Sunday is the um, Dovetail Connect stream with your showcase. This is just me waffling. This is Matt Plays TS and Chills Out stream. You got Link of Ryan Strecker. Uh, yeah, 90% off is ridiculous, isn't it, Sir Matt? It's a really, really good price. I was really surprised, actually. The discounts for this sale have just been top notch. See you later, Terry. Take care. <coughs> Palo Alto. Coming into Palo Alto now. Just leave that. That should stop in roughly the right place. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, five foot. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> hey, Louis Trains.
California Avenue. Hey there, AJ Games UK, how are you doing? Can you give a brief explanation of why the rolling stock on free room can't use liveries? Because someone did it wrong. You are supposed to be able to use liveries. Bluntly. In, in the meantime, you could go via Formation Designer while well, they get that fixed. Um, if you um, go into Formation Designer, make a, a new formation consisting of the, new liver, of the livery train that you want to use, that will appear in um, the new formation you've made will appear and will use the formation you've given, a uh, livery you've given it. So that would be a workaround right now, use the formation, if you're on PC, of course. If you're on console, it's not there yet. Good night, Kevin Pay. <laughs> Would you say this chain is worth eleven power? I'm gonna divert that question to the audience. I'm clearly too biased to be able to answer that one sensibly. Who knows, to be honest, Armada one, but Department for Transport um are uh, generally really um good partner, so if it's all done under that bracket, which I expect it will be, then um I imagine so. No, I'm going to be leaving very shortly. I'm just literally waiting for a text from my wife. Um, the, my wife and youngest are at a, um, a gig tonight, and the last band just went on, uh, and they want me to go and give them a lift home because it's not the best area to be walking around in at this time of night. Rick, this is Peninsula Corridor and is free on Steam at the moment, but just for this weekend. Once you've got it, it's yours to keep. Routes anywhere in theory are possible, real can you? Um, but we're not Asian rail experts. There are third party developers we're working with who are. So looking forward to them doing it. Right. OK, two songs left. All right, we're going to call it there then. Let me lock the doors. We'll finish this up and we'll head off. Have I achieved zero? Oh, frequently. Um, but always by luck. <laughs> right then, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, apologize we're not going to get to the end. I've got to go and pick up the missus and the youngest from a, uh, a gig. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Go and take advantage of the sale. And don't forget, Sunday, please. Do come along and join us on Sunday uh, and find out lots of amazing things. All right, folks. Thanks again. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Ted's looking for the end button. There it is. Bye-bye. <laughs>